Hi guys, this is Clinton and once again we are heading towards the deload week of my maintenance block. So throughout this whole block, this close to four weeks of training, what I'm going through it's a little bit more volume work and less mentally intense high intensity training. So during this period I gave myself a break and sort of a break from heavy weights and then I prepare myself and be ready for a tough block once again so right after this week i'm going for a new push block where i would try to attempt heavier weights and higher intensity uh, training as well so the reason why i put myself in one whole block of maintenance is so that if you can if you watch my previous videos i did mention about it what i really wanted was to give myself sort of like a mental break so that i can be hungry and ready for heavyweights again so let's jump straight into it and before we go into today's training video i just want to share with you one of the biggest topic i want to talk about for this video which is how do i stay motivated during my deload week all right so let's jump straight into it okay so this is day one. As you can see, all the weights here are very light as compared to what I normally do. Um, and because it's a deload week and the next week, I'm going to start to be very, very serious in my training. So I'm still, I'm not really going to push and try to combine my sets anymore. I'm staying very, very disciplined because I want my body to really recover and be ready for a good push block especially during week one because i expect myself on a week one to be you know a little bit shaky not doing so well because i'm trying to adapt into that new block and new intensity again but nevertheless it is better to be over prepared than not prepared at all so uh, throughout this whole week you realize that i'm very very disciplined in maintaining whichever um, sets and reps i'm given in my training so as you can see here this is 205 for four repetitions everything is pretty much going quite smoothly um, during my first day of training yes i feel a little bit unmotivated because you know it's such a lightweight so why am i why pay so much attention in my training but uh, this is a mental battle i was facing it um, during that day so i kept telling myself that no uh, i need to focus i can put on the music that I like and then focus in my training and make sure that the execution are all there. So this can be one of your strategy. So if you feel unmotivated, right, try to think of something that can keep you focused. And one of the ways uh, that helped me is definitely putting on some good music that I enjoy. Okay, so day two. Day two is the time where my deadlift will be the heaviest. Uh, this is because I want to get myself ready and have a, a feeling of how the intensity will impact in terms of my performance and technique so what i gave myself for day two was some easy bench and then the next one the next clip you will see here it's a, a warm-up of 250 with foot grip so right after the 250 i'm gonna try attempt 290 i'm sorry 280 for doubles why is it 280 is because on the next block itself what i'm trying to do is to aim to hit 280 for five repetitions so obviously there's progression where on the first week i'll hit three first and then next one four and then last week will be five okay so 250 moving quite easy yeah so as as the week goes by i realize that my body is more mobile definitely because i'm training less and i'm not as tight as before so the deadlift positioning improved as well so i know that i must be ready for one good push block on the next week okay so this is 290 for doubles so you guys can be the judge and see whether i can hit five reps in in the next few weeks to come so very easy double so personally i feel that yeah 280 for five is definitely there and um i'm really excited to show you guys in weeks to come so keep staying tuned and watch my vlogs and then you will get to see how i feel and uh how i experience during my training and maybe which whatever I said can help you in your training as well. So now back to the back offs, um, some pretty light 255 kg, uh, just going through the motion, understanding how I should execute them each rep. And then now it's the day three. So this week's training is actually not as intense, but on day three is the heavier squat session where I'll try to squat a little bit more heavier. 
So what's happening is uh, warming up to my heavier set. So this is 210. Yep. So nice and easy. Felt a little bit slow, but I feel that okay, everything is going well. I'm not shifting back too much. My lower back is fine. So I jump straight into the working set, which is 230 kg. So 230 kg is quite an intimidating weight for me. So if I were to hit five reps in the near future, that would boost up my confidence a lot. So this is one example of uh, how a program works to improve your mental strength in terms of the weight that you are carrying. You know, sometimes when you are lifting weights and then uh, a certain weight really intimidates you and then whenever you work around and work with the weights, um, it never goes right because you are so mentally affected by it. So one of the programming uh, strategies I adopted for myself and my athletes uh, was to include all these small little things to help you improve your mental strength so that when you go for competitions, right, you will learn how to deal with all those intimidation and translate the fear into performance. So yeah, if you want some good programming and training, come hit me up so that we can train together and then um, I can share with you some knowledges which will be beneficial for your training. So. That was the squats, now it's just some heavy benches. This is 155 for 3. Moving a bit slow but I feel that yeah, it's pretty steady as well. Definitely felt some fatigue on my pectoral muscles. I know that okay, um, my shoulders and my lats are not holding my shoulder position quite well as compared to the previous weeks. But I know that okay, uh, as long as I adhere to the, tank, uh, the program that I've designed for myself, I should be ready on the next week. So, for upper body, normally you, you, you wouldn't take that long to recover. So I'm quite confident that whatever happened on day three will not affect on my push block. So all this comes with experience, okay? So with all the things that I've said, I've not reached the part about uh, how do I keep myself motivated during the deload. Well, the it is quite simple. All I have to do is to understand that whichever weights that are given to me, it is for the greater good. So it is like running a marathon, uh, let's say a 10, 10 click. So 10 click is 10 kilometers. So you wouldn't want to sprint at the first few laps. You, you would want to pace yourself for that only towards the last and you push. So it's, the load is sort of like that. You want to give yourself a little bit of break, allow your body to recover. So on each day, I always tell myself after each training, okay, am I super tired? Am I shagged? No, I'm not. So that means I'm uh, I'm working towards the greater purpose of deloading, which is to allow my body to recover, but also be able to create that active recovery where I can still train and not feel like I'm, sh uh, I'm, I'm dying, okay? So that's the last of my lifts for day four. So yeah, this is my deload week. I hope you have learned something out there as well and also picked up some of the skills and strategies that I always like to use when I train. If you like this kind of video, uh, let me know again and then I will continue to make them and be consistent in my channel. So till then, I'll see you again. Goodbye.